So a while ago, I made a video about how David Nichols apparently debunked the theory that DMT is produced in high enough quantities to alter consciousness. But apparently there's been new research done that puts doubt into his assertion about that stuff. So I wanted to share that with you guys because it's pretty, pretty fascinating and it really opens up the idea that this could possibly be something that's real and that causes the near-death experience or other transcendental states caused by meditation and whatnot. And um, in this, I was able actually to find it through the Shroomery News Board, that's where it was posted. And I'll just read the summary and I'll put the, uh, the full link of the study and everything in the description so that you guys can read it in length. But uh, right now I'll just read the summary. So they posted, NN dimethyltryptamine, a psychedelic compound identified endogenously in mammals, is biosynthesized by aromatic L-amino acid decarboxylase, AADC, and endolethylamine N-methyltransferase, INMT. Whether DMT is biosynthesized in the mammalian brain is unknown. We, investigate, we investigated brain expressions of I. NMT transcripts in rats and humans. The co-expression of INMT and AADC mRNA in rat brains and periphery and brain concentrations of DMT in rats. INMT transfers were identified in the cerebral cortex, pineal gland, and choroid plexus of both rats and humans via in situ hybridization. Notably, INMT and mRNA was co-localized with AADC transcripts in the rat brain tissues. In contrast to rat peripheral tissues, there were existed little overlapping expressions of INMT and with AADC transcripts. Additionally, extracellular concentrations of DMT in the cerebral cortex of normal behaving rats with or without the pineal gland were similar to those of canonical monoamine neurotransmitters, including serotonin. A significant increase in DMT levels in the rat visual cortex was observed following induction of experimental cardiac arrest. A finding independent of an intact pineal gland. These results show for the first time that the rat brain is capable of synthesizing and releasing DMT at concentrations comparable to known monoamine neurotransmitters and raise the possibility that this phenomenon may occur similarly in human brains. So this is really interesting because it's basically saying that uh, under certain circumstances of cardio cardiac arrest, some rats were able to produce uh, quantities of DMT that were similar to the quantities of serotonin that we have in our brain. So that technically would be enough to alter consciousness. And what was really cool is that even with rats without a pineal gland, there seemed to be other parts of the brain, uh, including parts in the visual cortex and whatnot that were able to produce uh, the enzymes that were related to synthesizing DMT. So it's, it seems that it's not just the pineal gland that produces uh, DMT, it seems to be other parts of the brain as well. And that would make sense because people that have their pineal gland removed from certain cancers, uh, would that just mean that they don't experience the DMT flash, let's say at death or whatever? And this would basically say that no, there's other parts of the brain that basically produce it. So this is actually really groundbreaking stuff and it uh, basically seems to debunk David Nichols debunking of what happened and he, bas he basically jumped the gun on this assertion and was trying to discredit the whole theory around what happens when we die and, and with DMT and how it's related to the near-death experience. I mean, realistically, it would explain a lot on why people experience such transcendental experiences through cardiac arrest or death experiences. But uh, it also explains why some people don't experience it because it doesn't it doesn't happen to everyone. Some people's brain won't end up producing the quantities of DMT to actually cause those experiences when they experience cardiac arrest, and some will. So it's really a 
gamble, I guess, on whether or not it's going to happen to someone, but it's just really interesting that we actually have more research on the matter, and there's still a lot of research that needs to be done. More, more understandings need to be uncovered about this, but it's actually looking pretty good for all the people that believe that DMT has something to do with the near-death experience. I mean, to me, it would really make sense because I don't know why the DMT experience would simulate the near-death experience if it's not related to the actual near-death experience itself. It just doesn't make sense. The, the, they seem like two very perfect puzzle pieces that apparently didn't fit before, but now it's looking like they do actually fit. So that's really reassuring for a lot of us that want to believe that DMT has to do with something with the near-death experience. I mean, they've even done research on how it's almost exactly the same as a near-death experience, the DMT experience, how it basically simulates death in people or the, the experience of it. For me, it's definitely been a very heavy experience and a very death similar experience for me. I feel like I've gone through the death experience over and over just from smoking DMT or doing the oral DMT uh, shindig. And I definitely, uh, for, for a while, I was kind of disappointed that David Nichols um, experiments or research kind of put doubt into the whole DMT being related to the near-death experience, but now it seems that that uh, we, I guess we were right about our feelings about it, and maybe when more research comes out, it will be completely confirmed. I'm not exactly sure why it hasn't been confirmed yet. Um, I know this research puts more evidence to the theory of it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 100% proof yet. I still got to read through it. I don't quite understand the the complexity of the study that they did and exactly what it means, but uh, going from the summary, it seems that it's pretty promising. So I just wanted to report that to you guys because I know you guys will find it really interesting. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can cross our fingers and, and maybe DMT actually will have something to do with the near-death experience. Because I, I feel like I would trust it more if it actually was part of that because it's such a very heavy thing in the human experience that it, it seems to be very important to me to me and other people so uh yeah um if you guys like this content and you're new to this channel consider subscribing it'll help me out and i will see you in the next video peace out